I definitely turn it up another level when I step out there. Um, I enjoy, I'm going to enjoy seeing the people out there and, uh, and just competing you know, and having all the guys enjoy it and having a good time. Much anticipated. Are, are you feeling any pressure at all? Everybody's saying Vince is going to win our, our poll earlier. And the people picked you to win. Are you feeling any pressure at all? Um, I don't feel any pressure. It's kind of getting blown out of proportion, you know. Yeah, but that's the way it is. I mean, this is an exciting point, um, part of the, uh, the festivities, and uh, I'm glad to be a part of it. So I'm just going to go out there and have fun, and hopefully I can get a win. Uh, we'll see. And now the NBA.com slam dunk competitor from the Toronto Raptors, Vince Carter. Here is the man that this crowd wants to see. Vince Carter, who had told Kenny Smith that he has four that no one has ever seen. Uh, hey, this guy's moving back on the sideline. NBA players when he's coming. I don't understand this. This guy is making everybody move back. And he's going to take off on the free throw line of the beginning now. I'll just lose it right here. <laughs> I lose it right now, Danny. <laughs> going against the grain. That is unbelievable. This building just exploded. That's called a gainer. <laughs> I'm expecting Kenny to say he double dribbled by that one. <laughs> hey, my goodness, you know what I'm saying. Let's just sign the check over. Let's go home, call it a night. Let's see who's going for second place. Vince Carter. 36 inches on the jump meter and perfect on the scoreboard. That might be one of the four we had not Whoa. seen, ladies and gentlemen. That, that might be number one. <laughs> <laughs> that might be that might be in your top four all time, Kenny. Hey, Michael, move over. Somebody's coming to get your best dunk ever. All right, Vince is with Cheryl. Vince, I'm telling you, a lot of people thinking that might have been the best dunk ever. How'd you feel about it? I feel good. Um, I've done it about tw uh, two Jerry or three times in my life <laughs> before that, so I didn't practice. I just, I just, uh, that was a winger. Yeah, it felt good. Hey Vince, can you get any better than that? I don't know. No, the, the tough judges. Uh, but I got, I got, I have a couple of tricks on my sleeve. All right, and here is the second dunk of the night for Vince Carter. To the repertoire. Let's see what the judges have in store. Well, we've just seen a new out of bounds play for the Toronto Raptors. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's so impressive is you see Kevin Garnett, Jason Kidd, Daryl Armstrong, all these guys that can really run and jump. They're in awe of what they're seeing. That is that is unbelievable. Vince Carter finishes with a 49, and the reason is Kenny Smith, the only judge not to award a 10. What's and he's going looking on at me because I told you he set the precedent with the first one. That was would have been a 10 any other time Guys, but today. You know, I think that uh, Kenny is out of the pages of Eugenia oh, Williams, man. who was the Kenny judge got. in the Holyfield Lewis fight. He's telling me no more low scores. <laughs> Nine is low to him. <laughs> Kenny, they have you pegged. <laughs> Vince Carter getting the timing down with Tracy McGrady. So we'll give it another shot. Smart play, Tracy. Throw it low so he can't catch it. <laughs> no, you know what he's doing, Dan? The bounce, he's going to catch it, put it between his legs, and dunk it. So he wants it low to do that. And if he does this, like I said, 10 is not enough. Why doesn't he save this one, though? Why doesn't he, unless he's got two or three more in his bag. 
Yeah, and keep in mind, Vince Carter also has a few stitches in that left hand. Where he incurred an injury dealing with weights in the weight room, so he stitched up in the left hand doing all this. Oh, it did not it's oh. over! It's over, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> the judges are coming over the table to congratulate Vince Carter. This is unheard of. Oh my goodness gracious, it is over. Did I call it Danny or what? Hey, Tracy McGrady, he doesn't even know what to do. He's walking away. He plays with this guy every day and he's in awe. Another look. Whoa. Hey, Danny. Hey, Kenny, he's got three of your top five all time already. But what he told me before the, before the contest, he said he watched all of these dunk contests. He was going to take a little bit of someone else, a little bit of Dominique, and put him together. So he put the Isaiah Ryder with the Spud Webb and threw it the bounce pass and throw it to himself and dunk it. Impossible. And a 37-inch vertical leap. Vince Carter with a spectacular show on this first round. Let's go to Cheryl. You want to say a couple of times, but this one is the first time you've done this. I was the first time I've ever done that in my life. Um, I was I just sat there and thought of it, just sitting on the bench, uh, you know. Bitch, you should be perfect throughout the three rounds. Do you have anything to say to Kenny Smith? Uh, well, thanks, Kenny. That's okay. I, um, we'll talk later. <laughs> are you still coming to my basketball camp? That's what I want to know. Kenny, uh, Kenny would like to know, are you still coming to his, uh, his basketball camp? Kenny, I, I'm coming. Okay, I'm coming. you're coming back again you, next bro. year. Thank you, thank you. Right. You know what's so amazing about Vince? Not only his uh, jumping ability, but he's got so much power. Too. I mean, he's got a bigger body than Michael. He's, he's stronger. He jumps just as high, big as hands, but he's just got so much power to go with it's that. It's a lead. combination of Dominique and Michael right here. It's a combination. Plus, I think he's a little bit more of a show off, too. <laughs> you see that swagger? He's looking at me like I'm supposed to say something. He's got the swagger. He's got it all. The same kind of swagger that the Dominiques and the Joints have. All right, Vince Carter with his first on the final round. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies, wait, time out, time out. Can, can I take a time out? Have can we I take ever a time seen out? that before? Can, can I take a time well, out? I, I, saw, I saw him rubbing his upper arm, and I was wondering what he was doing. He was just cleaning it off, making sure there was nothing slippery there, because he knew how far the, the rim he was going. Wait a moment, Dad. Have you ever seen that? I've never seen that before. I'm not sure the guy can't go in through the rim head first. <laughs> out there when he's doing this stuff. The mascots left the trampoline out there, I think. You know, we used to hear of uh, people taking quarters off the top of the glass and maybe leaving change. That's about as close as you you will come to seeing that. That was unbelievable. Tell me Butch Carter to just fall off his chair when he sees this guy hanging up on the rim like that, worried about his shoulder. I didn't even see, I don't think they have an alley-oop play in Toronto. What you doing up there, Butch Carter? Wait a minute. Make that another 50 for Vince Carter. He's got to make the basket at the end, but then how much they add to it. Now Vince Carter, He's 42, just a 42 for the victory. McGrady got a 32 on that uh, second attempt for a 77, so he will finish third. Carter has put up a 50, a 49, a 50, and a 50. Half man, half amazing. Well, he gets two tries at it, too, because you get a replacement duck in this last round, so. I think that uh, we know who won this right here. I once again, Vince measuring. Would love to conclude with an explosion. You know you're good when the contestants come to the other side to watch you. That's truly meaning that you're half man, half amazing. Vince Carter, the NBA dunk champion. I'm crowning him right now, Mom. They are standing here at the arena in Oakland. And as you mentioned, Kenny, the the other NBA players going to the other end of the court. 
Photographers also making a move. Everyone standing. Here comes Carter and puts it down. He goes two hands from the free throw line instead of one. As we said, needs only a 42 for the victory. Well, that'll get 42, but Kenny better not give him a 10 this time. I think that was a smart dunk. That was a smart safety dunk. Absolutely. He He's elevated. He took off close to the foul line, but he knew what he needed to win. That's a smart dunk at the end to get the championship. And, it, and it's a great dunk. Two hands from as far as he jumped off, but very safe, and uh, he's saving something for next year. You know what, Danny? That was a nine, but I owed him one, so I gave him a 10. <laughs> <laughs> what a generous guy. Well, down through the years, there have been a number of terrific free throw style dunks. Here's a look at Vince Carter once again, who ends up with a 48 on that second dunk for a total of 98. And here is Vince Carter. Who is the champion of the NBA.com slam dunk competition? Carter concludes with a 98. Steve Francis, the runner up, followed by Tracy McGrady. Here's Craig with Vince. All right, Vince. Flying, skying, swooping, but hanging by your elbow on the rim. What was the best duck you think of the day? I don't know. Um, I like the. The, the bounce with the between the legs because that was the first time I've ever done that. Uh, I just that was off the fly. I thought about it right before I went and I'm just happy I made it. But uh, you know it feels good right now. I, I'm just shocked. Before that final dunk you knew you had it won but still a spectacular dunk two hands from the foul line. Well not quite foul line and you know I, I like to get that opportunity to try that again you know but. but it feels good right now. I mean, I think everybody did a great job, and you know, I'm just happy to win. You obviously impressed everybody here in the arena, the millions watching on television. But when you look over there and see your fellow pros who are in awe, what does that make you feel? It feels good because sometimes your fellow classmates and teammates are hard to impress. So um, I'm just happy. <laughs> I think I may be interviewing the wrong Carter. What do you think your coach, Butch Carter, is thinking right now after seeing you hang on the rim with your elbow? He's probably, <laughs> uh, he's probably fishing, so he can probably get to see it. But um, I hope uh, I pressed another Carter, and that's my brother. I hope he, he enjoyed that. I think he did. How do you think this performance will rate over history with the Jordans and the Dominiques? I don't know. Uh, you're talking about two great, great, great slam dunk champions there. And, uh, I'm just happy to win, and, and maybe one day uh, I'll look back at the taste and compare, but I'm not going to compare. I'll let others compare. Sometimes you can't duplicate a feat. Do you look forward to coming back next year and defending the title? I don't know. I don't mind. I don't mind. All right, I think the uh, commissioner needs to talk to you over here. With high fly moves and power jams, Vince Carter racked up a score of 98 to win the NBA.com Slam Dunk 2000 Championship. Presenting the award to our champion of center court is NBA Commissioner so David Stern. So the Slam Dunk competition has made its return in a big way. The early line favorite, Vince Carter of the Toronto Raptors, coming through with a sensational performance. And he is the NBA.com Slam Dunk Champion. We'll be back 